So today we're talking about some knives that have really stood out to me over the past couple weeks. These are absolute bangers. Starting it off, we have the DEF CON Fulcrum. This, I will have everything linked down in the description. People were having trouble finding this. Um, just, it'll be in the link, and then you can just go to their JK series. You'll find it. Um, and this is only $200. So and if you really look at it, you know, that, that's not too shabby of a deal, considering it is a unique locking system. So it's a button lock. It's basically a liner lock that's attached to a button. But when you push the button, the leaf spring pulls in the liner. So it acts just like a button lock. And the detent is perfectly well tuned. Uh, you know, I guess because a liner lock has a good detent, right? I think that's the same way they did the detent. Now what's cool is you have this really unique front flipper that works so good. Like this is a good one if you have to practice the reach over because it, it's just so easy. But you also have just a regular flipper. If you're not good at front flipping, you know, this would be a good one to practice with because the, the flipping action's equally as good as the front flipping action. It's sleek, it's slim, M390 steel. Um, it does have a titanium mill pocket clip with nothing underneath, so it's super smooth in and out of the pocket and a little spot for a, um, a tritium insert if that's what you want. T8 hardware all the way around. Um, you can see the locking system from the back side right there. But yeah, all in all, nice and ergonomic, rock solid lockup. Yeah, rock solid lockup. And, and like I said, just a, a super sleek, slim, very useful EDC. And I like that they did give you a cover so you can reverse it if you are left-handed. So, and this will be equally as good right or left-handed. So these, this would be a great one for lefties. Same company, we have the Defcon Gravity. Now this one does come in uh, three different colors. You have the plain option, so without the coating, but this one, or sorry, sorry all of them have these Timascus inlays with Timascus pivot collar on both sides. You also have spots for tritiums in this one too. And again, you know, hearing the name Defcon, you know, you would think this thing is like, it's a cheesy company. They're gonna make cheap knives. These are absolute premium knives. Um, if you told me another, like a very high-end knife company did it, I would say, yeah, that, that makes sense because damn it, is it good. From the detent, the way the detent breaks, the strength of the detent, the sound of it, the smoothness, uh, just everything. Everything put together just equals just such a badass knife. And then the ergonomics of this thing, coupled with the blade shape. You know, this blade is not doesn't have a lot of belly, so you can do some really long distance cuts with it, yet you also have a precision tip. So for like opening things up, doing the pinch grip, anything like that, this thing is an amazing user. Um, yeah, let's get a detent. This thing's nice. It's really, really nice. They did they did a phenomenal job with this. Um, and, you know, just like all the knives on this list, you know, I love them. So the next one. So the next one actually is a twofold. We have the Doberman, which has dropped. So you can get these right now. You have the titanium version in S35DN. Woo, that thing is smooth. Look at that. And then you have the liner lock version in 154 cm blade steel equally as smooth look at that Woo. now the thing with these are is that they have ergonomics identical to a um a capara a spider coat capara i mean literally identical um it feels so similar to the capara and i love it is i love the ergonomics of the capara so um i'm not saying that's where you know that's what he did or anything like that he could have came up with it by himself or maybe you know he liked the ergos of that and that's why he did these types of ergos i don't know but if he did brilliant idea because it is absolutely like super comfortable you can turn it and use it in any grip and it just kind of feels so natural this grip whether you're choked back or choked up the titanium one has titanium scales with a steel liner, titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. This one has a titanium clip, titanium backspacer with G10 and a steel liner. Uh, but you have the flipping action and thumb studs and the thumb studs are positioned in a fantastic spot. 
super easy to launch out there. This is an absolute banger. Um, I, I freaking like this one quite a bit. The design, you know, and it, it's, I'm not gonna say it's like super unique or anything, but, but it, it has a really good style to it that I definitely love and appreciate. Now, one more Kaiser. The Huntsman. I had to pull this guy out. This one dropped as well, so you can get these. Woo! I had to put this on the list because of its, one, it's so well done. That's one thing. Kaiser did a bang-up job on this. But number two, the design is different. It's whether you love it or hate it, I don't care. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I like it because it's different. It's unique. And if you've ever used a blade shape like this, it's actually pretty useful. You have this secondary tip to open things up. This giant recurve is going to slice like a champ. You could use this area for like cutting ropes and things or cutting downward onto a surface, you know, um, roll cuts, things like that. Um, it's not going to be the best utility cutter, but you have this pretty pronounced tip for, you know, the, the majority of things that you use a knife for. Um, the ergonomics are so, so good. My goodness, like you, man, to get this out of my hand right now would be nearly impossible. I love how thick it gets back here, slightly contoured, beautiful carbon fiber inset into this titanium, titanium geared backspacer and titanium mill pocket clip. The clip works great and it feels good in the hand. Um, access to the lock bar is not bad. It's nice and comfortable and it is very, very smooth. You have the reverse flick inside this window that works great. That's probably the primary um, way of flipping it is with the reverse flick. Or you have the thumb studs that also work. Now the thumb studs are not the stop pin. It has a different stop pin. But yeah, the Huntsman is super unique, super badass. And that's what I love about it. S35 VN blade steel. Um, this is something you pull out of your pocket. People are like, whoa. And you know, you hear people, I can hear people in the comments right now, gas station knife, gas station knife. Gas station knives simulate and are emulating the real thing. Let's be clear. The, the, the badass knives that are really, really cool, like something like this, is what they're trying to simulate. You know, the colorful metals they put on some of the crazy designs they have at gas station knives, that's trying to simulate Timascus. Like, so all the things, there, there's the real version and then the gas station knife version. Let's be clear about that. Next, next. The Wrath, I had to put this on the list. I know I just showed it the other day. We'll go through it quickly, but this is the Tuya Wrath, a Dave Warren design and an absolute banger. Um, there's only, a, well, I don't know, because I don't know all the places they're at, but right now I can link them down below and there's only a couple versions left. Um, one diamond pattern version and then one frag pattern, but I'm sure there's other places you could get them, probably on the Tuya site and stuff. Perfect front flipper. This is the way front flipper should be done. Um, nice and sharp, nice and catchy, fantastic detent, beautiful dual hollow ground S90V blade, um, very deep hollow right here, super duper ergonomic, phenomenal access and super comfortable access to the lock bar, drop shut, titanium mill pocket clip, um, titanium backspacer. Uh, yeah, this, this, it has the looks. It has the function, it has the action, it pretty much has everything. Um, if you uh, haven't checked one of these out yet, definitely check one out. It, it, it is, it's a banger. Next, the next one is the Tribeca. The Titanium Tribeca. Now, I have not tried the other ones. People keep asking me, is this as good as the, the G10 one? I imagine the action's the same, but I don't know. I've seen videos, and from the videos, it seems like it, um, but... I gotta say, this titanium one, this thing has some of the crispiest action. You would not expect it to be so crispy with this flipper tab, but my goodness, is it good. As soon as you break that detent, it's like impossible to fail. Then you have this reverse flick, equally as good. Nice, strong detent, man, I love it. Um, and it's very ergonomic. It does have, um, or sorry, is uh, made in Italy. And this one does have magna cut steel and the titanium scales are contoured with a brass backspacer. So this thing has a lot going for it. Beautiful set and finish. Like I said, great ergonomics. Um, 
You know, Italy, in some cases, there, you know, some of them are, you know, it just depends, but there are some examples where they could be a little bit rougher on the edges. And then sometimes, you know, the heat treats are a little softer. Uh, this one is an absolute banger. As far as the heat treatment goes, I think they're doing it at 61, 62. So, you know, I, I prefer it to be 63, 64, but as far as everything else, you know, it's really good and you'll still get really, really good edge retention on 61, 62. It just to be better at 63.64. Okay, so we have about four more left, four or five more. We have the Serge Panchico Rager. Rager, Roger, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm gonna say Rager. But it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, a pelican or something, some sort of bird, or you know, maybe like an eagle or like a falcon or something, because it has this beak-like blade shape that works so, so good for EDC. Now, the handle is titanium on this version, um, titanium spring pocket clip, and it has titanium liners. So we have titanium liners with titanium scales because there is other there were other versions, you know, so they could just swap the scales. Phenomenal reverse and thumb flicking action on a button lock that's very, very smooth, as you can see. Now, the thing is, is that the blade is offset from the handle, as you can see. So that does offer a unique feeling. But once you get used to it, this blade is so, so useful. You can choke up for fine cuts. You can turn it around and cut straps. And this feels like a very powerful, like a snatch and grab and cut uh, position because of the way the handle is. It's nice and comfortable when you wrap your fingers around and all the pressure goes to, your, goes to the spine when you're pull cutting. Um, as far as just regular slicing goes, you know, you can kind of pinch up right here, you know, and, and block the choil or not. Um, the blade shape is just a great blade shape for EDC use. N690 steel. I'd love to see a little bit better steel, especially for the price, but all in all, man, banger, banger knife. And if you know how to sharpen, you're not going to be worried about that. N690 is a fine steel. It's just, you know, I'd like to see it at, at, on an affordable, more affordable knife, not necessarily a premium knife like this, but you know, to each their own. Some people freaking love N690 and you know, it, it is a good steel. It's just, you know, like I said, I, I'd prefer to see something a little bit more premium on such a badass knife. The Serge Panchico Slip Joint. This has some of the best walk and talk action. It's so loud. Damn it, that, that thing is so loud. It almost feels like it's like hitting the edge, but it does have a stop pin and it does hit back here. Perfect sharpening tool and plunge grind, very slicey sheep's foot blade, beautiful swedge. We have M390 steel, titanium scales, titanium spring pocket clip, and that walk the dog. And I love that it has a clip because one, you have phenomenal grip and rip action. Um, lots of blade hanging out. It is a stone wash finish. So to grip it and rip it is very comfortable, very easy. Anybody can do it. Then obviously the close is, you know, nice and snappy. Uh, when you snap down to the first one, it, it's, it pops. Just like when you lock it in place, it snaps in place. But you have the clip, which is really nice on a slip joint. I love having a clip on a slip joint. Uh, it's just easier to carry. And you can always take it off and throw it in a slip if that's your style. But if you don't have a clip and that is, you know, and you prefer a clip, that you know, so that, that would be a drawback. But in this case, you got a clip. So awesome, awesome knife. Next. Next is you knew I had to put it on here. Yes, I did. The Herman Ishtar, whoo, yes, this thing is up there with the Koenigs, with the, um, the Holtz, oh, man. the Rosies, all of those. My goodness, is this good. I love this knife. Not only the finish that, that, that he did on this, that's in my opinion, pretty unique, um, it do, they do have other versions of this with different colors if you like this pattern, but you don't like the color. Um, then the breaking of the detent is some of the cleanest breaking detent action I have ever felt in my life. I mean, it's just so crispy clean. This is double, twice as good a as my Sting. And it just, there's no, it's impossible to fail this. 
And then the sound. Yes, beautiful. Um, and then the blade, M398 steel, and it does have this, if you look at this finish, it has like a, um, I don't know what you call it. It almost looks like concrete or something. It's a, some sort of blasted finish. It's smooth to the touch, but it almost looks like, I don't know, like sandpaper or something. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a deep blasted finish, almost like, like rocky. It almost is like this, but subdued. Um, phenomenal access to the lock bar, nice and comfortable disengagement. These are riding on uh, multi-row bearings with the bearings inset in them. Um, so, and they are multi-row. Uh, yeah, yeah, just an absolute banger. I, I can't, I could scream about this thing all day long. It is so badass. And then the next one actually is from, oh yeah, and by the way, shout out to Polish Custom Knives. I will have them linked down in the description. They do have all kinds of badass Polish Custom Knives, including Herman's, long list of Herman's, and JK Knives. So this is a JK knife, and I had to put it on the list as well because it is oh so ridiculously smooth. Now, I guess I reviewed the, the concept version of this, the production version, and I had just, I had forgotten about it. It. Um, you know, I review a lot of knives, so, you know, it, it's not like it didn't stand out or anything like that. I just, you know, I forgot about it. Uh, but, uh, but that is a way if you want to, you know, kind of get a production version of this instead of the handmade custom, you could go with the concept version, but this is a titanium frame lock. It comes in different colors and, um, uh, there is, he does have different models. I think one or two other models. This one has a sheep's foot blade with a beautiful um, stone sharpened edge. Um, same thing with that Herman. The titanium is, is very well balanced and just super duper comfortable. You can see the minimal flipper tab does not poke out. And, and the flipper tab is, it's small, but such a crispy break. You can't fail this. Like it, it trying to fail it, you, you can't fail it. And so if you even just attempt to do it, this thing cranks out there. And then look at how smooth it is. And the smoothness is on another level of glassy, oily smooth. So when you hear somebody say, it feels like it's on oiled glass, this is like on oiled glass and then some. It is so, so luxuriously smooth. And if you look like it slow, I guess it does, it does just drop, but when you when you disengage and you kind of follow it around, it kind of just tapers down. Oh man, so damn smooth. Anyways, this is the JK Knives Integra, and it's another one that absolutely stood out to me over the past couple weeks. Um, there were a few others, but in order not to make this video entirely way too long, I just pulled these ones out. Maybe we'll do another one, but all these knives in this video are absolute bangers. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.